How's it going everyone? Dax here. Hope you're doing well today. Donkey has released another new video, which is crazy, and it's going to be based on the game called Stray. I don't really know much about Stray apart from it's a cat game. I think it's like a free roam cat game, and I've seen a few like streamers play it, but they weren't doing really much. They were just walking around a street, so, and they're on a roof, so I'm really confused in what this game is. Maybe Dunk can clear that for me. I, I heard a lot of the cat lovers love this game, so um, as a dog lover myself, doesn't mean I hate cats, just means I prefer dogs, by the way. So I want to see what the hype's about. Anyway, let's get straight in. And away we go. Stray is the new game Stray. from publisher Annapurna. But is this mm. new game really the cat's meow? Or are gamers <laughs> being led astray? Let's oh, get two puns in one. In this game, you play as a semi-realistic 3D cat. Just for okay. that, this game is an automatic 10 out of 10 for most people. Honestly, wow. one of the True. best games I've played. Gorgeous game. I've had no crashes. Yeah. This is what innovation looks like. <laughs> the best indie game I've ever Wait, played. was there a few just cat? Oh, Hold on, go back. Honestly, one of the best games I've played. Gorgeous game. I've had no crashes. Yeah. A cat this lovers, man. Yeah, it was cat. Wait, go back. I'm going to do again. One of the best games I've played. Gorgeous game. I've had no crashes. Yeah. Cat, yeah. 8.5 uh, hours. To be fair, they've played it longer than the game. I think it's like six and hours to play the game. Innovation looks like the best indie game I have ever played. The question I want to pose is: Jeez. Would people still care about this game if you didn't play as a cat? No, True. they wouldn't care about this at all. But you do play as a cat, and the cat is fun to control. Stray okay. does a pretty good job of capturing that signature cat-like slinkiness. Your movements mm. are very nimble, and a big part of that is because the game cheats for you a lot. Crossing a beam or a pipe is a foregone conclusion. You don't have to balance yourself. The cat is just uh. going to cross it perfectly every time. Jump That's kind of cat-like, though. very knack-like. We've de-emphasized. Knack. Oh, no. To jump somewhere, no. just look at where you want to land, press A, and the cat pounces there automatically. If that sounds mm. limiting, that's because it is. But it also keeps uh. the game's pacing in check and ensures that players of any skill level can slide around with grace. Even though you are okay. fully in control, there's a real novelty in exploring the world as a cat. You can say mm. this. You can say this. <laughs> there's a meow button. Wow. Is actually a meow because button? Because you're so small, things like a stack of books or a chair or a pulled out drawer become your- I think also, even though it's limiting, that's kind of cat because it's like cat's instincts. I'm talking like a waffle, by the way. I, I think it kind of coincides with like the cat instinct, like the cat just knows to do stuff. So it would naturally know how to do that. So even though you wouldn't have to try and balance because the cat instinctively is already balancing platforms you can crawl through tiny vents and holes with ease you don't even have to slow down the cat just ducks his head down and slides right through that there's see, a instinct. satisfying slipperiness and how you can so easily traverse through even the most cramped and awkward terrain mm. however this is mm. not a game that is going to wow you with its mechanics they are there no? to mitigate yeah. frustration and draw your attention to the fancy graphics and great sound effects okay it is pretty it's like the, the last of his graphics. The winds up his jump, launches his springy spine out to make a tall leap. The subtle pitter-patter of your paws on the pavement. The way you can dart <laughs> through a crack in the door. In a game like Stray, those little extra touches go a long way. Which is a shame, because there's a lot of little oh, things, but the developers nice. definitely cut some corners. You can oh. knock all sorts of items off of tables and ledges, but these items don't have a oh. proper sense of weight to them. <laughs> Sometimes when you're rounding a corner, you get this slick animation. Other times, the huh? cat will awkwardly rotate his entire body. This uh, was here for the whole uh, game. Robots don't have a stair climbing animation. Sometimes oh items no. will magically fly into the cat's mouth. Sometimes instead of doing a cool animation, uh, the screen just fades to black. Oh, ta-da, it happened off screen. Because oh, some of the no. animations are so lifelike and believable, not defending it, but, but coming from like an indie game company that's not rarely known for their games, that that's just minor stuff. The constant snapping and rough edges really stick out. In a larger, yeah. more gameplay focused game, I wouldn't even bother mentioning this kind of stuff, but Stray mm. is only five hours long and is very clearly emphasizing its presentation over everything else. Something that I really appreciate about games in this genre, like Inside, Journey, Flower, Abzu, is how they are able to communicate their stories entirely through visuals and sound. Stray is the odd cat out here with its reliance on 
cheapo text boxes which feel like a lame band-aid to cover for missing content. While I did enjoy okay. prowling around its cyberpunk setting as a cat, that's really all Stray has oh, it is to offer. This is the type of game that should be overflowing with easter eggs and subtle details which just aren't there. The developers <laughs> play their entire hand very early and struggle to fill this very short game with enough twists and surprises. What the story Jesus. kind of fails to acknowledge is I am a cat. Why am I being positioned as a selfless Gordon Freeman type hero battling head cramps for the betterment of civilization? If a cat was going to save the world, it would either yeah. be on accident or because yeah. I wanted to drink some milk. Yep. For an indie game, it's hard to see how many elements here feel ripped from the Ubisoft playbook. Stray is not even in the same ballpark as a masterful cat game like Bowser's Fury, nor is it as theatrical what? and moving as other games in its genre. But, I mean, come on. It's better than Bubsy. <laughs> Jordan Dunk review? That's actually pretty good. He didn't rip into it. He just said, like, uh... Pretty much to sum up Dunk's review right there, people are overhyping it because it's cat. And obviously that's pretty much true. But it's still not a bad game. So good good summarization. I I you know, fair fair enough. Fair enough. I'd even say that um it, it looks good. It looks really it looks alright. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't hate it. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I don't hate the style of the game. The style of the game looks beautiful. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Maybe you want to try out some different videos, like the newest video that we've released, which is probably this one. So maybe not. Maybe I've released another one since then. So check out the newest one. Um, other than that, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next one. Laters.